What's going on? I'm David Page. I am a singer and guitarist, and my wife and I just finished a contract on the Carnival Elation as a musical duo on board. Not only are we musicians, but we are also certified scuba divers. We did all our certifications for our honeymoon in Utila, Honduras. I still have to finish editing video from that trip. Anyway, we've been absolutely dying to go scuba diving ever since. When we first booked this contract, we noticed that on the very last week that this ship would actually be going to a brand new port and we would be headed to Grand Turk. We loved every minute of our contract, but we were always looking forward to this last cruise where we would dock in Grand Turk. Good morning. We are in Grand Turk today. The entire contract, we've been going to the same four ports. Freeport, Nassau, Bimini, Princess Keys. Freeport, Nassau, Bimini, Princess Keys. Freeport, Nassau, Bimini, Princess Keys. We're gonna try to go find a place that will uh, take us on a scuba tour. The reef here is supposed to be amazing. The reef is supposed it's to be. reef with a big wall drop. So we got up early, it's very early for us. It's very early. The sun rose like 20 minutes ago. We tried to get in contact with one of these places about scuba. WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram. Those are really our only options because we can't get their website on our internet on the ship. So, fingers crossed that we can get it. Babies. We got up super early and got off the ship by 7 a.m. and made our way to Blue Water Divers. When we got there, Henry and Kristen, they're the dive center owners, they informed us that the visibility was not very good. It had been really windy over the past several days and they just weren't sure if we were gonna be able to dive today. Kristen suggested a breakfast spot at the Osprey Beach Hotel while they went to go check to see if we could dive. The food was delicious and the views were stunning. After breakfast, we got back to the dive center and the best answer they could give us is, we're gonna try. So we filled out our paperwork and got fitted with our wetsuit and dive gear. What are we doing? We're doing scuba diving. Yeah, metro shirt. <laughs> and then we loaded into the back of Henry's truck and drove down to the beach. Our dive master's name was King and he brought me and Stephanie and one other diver to the small dive boat and took us to the west side of the island. This is beautiful water. Uh, we're not sure what the visibility is gonna be like underwater because evidently it's been pretty windy, pretty wavy, and uh, it's been kicking up sand lately, but it looks gorgeous to us, so. The Grand Turk Wall is a famous diving spot. The wall drops to the depths of over 7,000 feet and is one of the most popular diving destinations in the Caribbean and attracts people from all over the world. From the spot where our diving boat was parked, we could see the entire island from the northernmost tip where there's a lighthouse to the southernmost tip where the elation was docked. We had been looking forward to this moment for our entire contract. We got all of our gear prepped and dove into the water. As we descended, I was having some serious trouble with equalizing my ears, and I was scared that I wasn't going to be able to complete the dive. The more I struggled, the more I was afraid that I was going to ruin the dive for everyone. Eventually I was able to push through and was able to get my ears equalized enough to continue. 
but I had used up a lot of my oxygen. I was able to get comfortable enough in the water to continue our dive, and I'm really glad that I was able to do that because what we saw next was incredible. As we got to the wall, the reef dropped straight down. All we could see was this infinite gorgeous blue. We swam a little bit deeper. I think the deepest that we got to was about 90 feet. And as we were going down, we were looking at all of the beautiful marine life and this incredible coral reef. As I was looking down, a shadow emerged in the blue. The shape of the shadow became more clear and I realized I was looking at a shark. It was insane. There wasn't one, not two, but three black tip reef sharks swimming below us. I immediately looked to Stephanie to see if she could see what I saw too. There were plenty of fish and the sharks were not acting aggressive towards them, so I figured we were for the most part pretty safe. Black tip reef sharks grow to be about five to five and a half feet in length, which is just about as tall as Stephanie and I are. Despite how intimidating it looked to have some sharks below us, this type of shark generally is not very aggressive towards people. While this moment was a little bit scary and I probably used up a bunch more air this part of our dive, it was incredible to see these creatures in their natural environment. As quickly as they had arrived, their shadows faded back into the deep blue. As we ascended along the reef, we came to the top of the wall where the sand began to softly slope back up. On our way up, there was a cavern and King pointed out that there was something underneath it. I swam a little bit closer so that I could get a better look. It was a barracuda. I didn't really know what I was looking at until I was so close that I could see his teeth. Before we knew it, we were directly under the boat, and just in time because I was pretty much out of air. We safely ascended to the surface, and man, what an incredible dive. We saw sharks. sharks. That was insane. Wow. That was so cool. <laughs> Dive time was 37 minutes. We went to how, how deep? Uh, what, 31.2 meters, which is I think 97, 98. King took us back to the beach, and that happened to be the beach where all of our friends were hanging out at Jack's Shack. And so we got to spend some time on the beach with our friends and enjoy the rest of our time in Grand Turk. As we headed back to the ship, we couldn't stop thinking about the sharks. It was so cool to see those creatures in their natural environment. But as soon as we were back on board, it was time to get to work. Yeah.